next we have the 2018 Dry Riesling from Red Newt Cellars, uh, one of our classic uh, wines that we work with here, uh, and one of our probably favorite wines to be able to put together um, when it comes to kind of blending a couple of different lots uh, after everything is fermented in the cellar. We were really fortunate with the 2018 vintage, which was quite rainy, quite difficult uh, to have, in particular at La Homa Vineyard, uh, our main Riesling site, uh, several blocks of fruit that managed to hang through the rain without any difficulty whatsoever. Not only hung through the rain, they lasted for three weeks on the other side of the big rain events, uh, which gave the fruit plenty of time to dry out, gave uh, the flavors a chance to fully ripen and to reconcentrate in the berries, uh, and gave us a chance to make a wine that was equal to any of the dry Rieslings we've made before. What I really love about the 2018 Dry Riesling is um, it gave us a chance to play uh, with Riesling in a slightly different way than we've done in the past. So there was a little bit of Botrytis out in the vineyards, um, but it was healthy Botrytis. So it's something that we actually really enjoy finding in these Rieslings. Um, and what that does is it gives you a, a little bit more of a fruit pop right up front with this particular wine, which in you know a Dry Riesling, when you have also a decent amount of acid to it, really ends up being a beautiful interplay um, you know, for, for a wine that really kind of shows uh, what you can do in a funny vintage um, with really great fruit. This Riesling, when you uh, have a chance to try it, there's the classic orange fruit, there's the classic tropical and, and citrus fruit that we expect in Riesling, but in particular from the 18 vintage, there's a really nice, almost like jasmine tea uh, aromatic to it that uh, makes it a beautiful wine to, to have with food. It makes it a beautiful and more intriguing wine because of that aromatic note. Uh, and it's a wine that, uh, because of the weight that that vintage gave it and the amount of hang time we were able to get, it's been aging beautifully and seems like it will continue to do so.